Okay, what, what is your name? I just gave you my name, sir. You said you're Miss Amo? Yes. What is, what is your position? You said that you're a supervisor and you're, you're, you don't have an identification number to identify that you are a supervisor, Miss IMO? That's funny because Zara just gave me her identification number. Would you like me to give you Zara's identification number? I need I need I need identification to prove that you are a supervisor. So in case I need to contact you again, are you under you understanding me? So there's no way I can contact the supervisor regarding my issues. I've been hung up on 12 times. Sorry, I've been hung up on four times and transferred 12. Do you find that obscene? No, sir. I'm sorry you had that experience, but I'm going to try and do my best, so. You do not find being transferred 12 times and hanging up obscene. Absurd. I, sir, I'm sorry that happened to you, but what I want to do right now is resolve your issue. I would like to know why I was transferred 12 times and then hung up on four times after an hour of calling. Well, that I have to look into because we have to go into the systems and check to see who took your call, who transferred it, why they transferred you. So it's a whole process I have to take. But as for now, what is it that you're calling about that I can help you with? What is the issue? I would like you to look into my case to see every single person who has been called, who's been transferring me and hanging up. After you do that, I would like you to look at my case history and see how many times my case has been closed outside of necessity. Okay, so in order for me to do that, it's a whole process and I have to, I have to call the administration and look into those and that's gonna take that would be perfect. That's exactly what I'm asking you for, Miss Ammo. That's exactly what I'm asking for. Oh, yeah, we can get back to you on that for sure, but that's going to take hours. But as far as me helping you with your case right now, whatever the current issue is that you need help with, that's what we're trying to get to at the moment. Can you repeat that? I said as far as what the issue is, why you're calling here regarding your case, I can try and help you out with that right now. That's what we want to get to so we can assist you right now. Okay, if you want to assist me right now, my case, I need to recertify for the GROW program. The GROW program? The GR program, uh, whatever you want to call okay. it. General relief, yes. General relief, GR, GROW, okay. Yes. That's what I need GROW recertification for. GROW is separate than GR, so if, you're, if your GR is active, and you're part of the GROW program, that will remain active as well. So as far as recertifying for the general relief program, the annual agreements are currently waived. So you don't have to worry about the annual agreement. The only thing you have to do is the SSP-14 form that was mailed out to you. And if you don't have it, you can do it online on our website, or you can pick one up at the district office. We can schedule an appointment for you for that one. I was told that I can call to recertify. By one you of your, by one of your, Cal one of your, dis, one of your operators. Okay, so for the CalFresh portion, which I see also the recertification due, the yearly one, that one you can do over the phone. But for the GR, the, the recertification process is waived. The only thing that's due is the SSP 14 form. It's just one form that you check mark and sign and turn in. That's the only one that you you would have to turn in yourself. Okay, do you guys have a form of mailing this form, like emailing this form? Can I receive it by mail and then do everything online? Okay, so do you have a mailing address? I have an email address. I'm referring to an email. We don't have an email, but it's available on our website. If you log in into your account, it's available for you to, for you to download, fill it out, and upload again into your account. So I don't have to go pick it up. I can just go online. Why? Oh, yes. So I have to recertify over the phone, but I have to fill out a form for the GR. For the GR, yes. 
are, yes. That's the SSP-14 form, which is, is regarding social security information that you fill out yearly. But the CalFresh recertifications, we're able to do that for you over the phone now. And that's probably why they were transferring you, so I'm not sure what happened. I would still like for you to follow up on every single person that called and hung up on me. That would be great. So I have to do what now for my certification? I have to get called again? You would definitely do that. Say that again? I said for sure, definitely. If that happened to you, we would have to research that. We would have to have the administration go to the systems to look and see all the phone calls that came from you, who got them, what the conversation was regarding, and why you were transferred, and why you were disconnected or whatever happened so many times as you say. Well, they hung up. Okay, do you know what happened? Did you even talk to them or? Oh yes, they put me on hold. They put me on hold each for approximately 10 to 15 minutes and by the time I realized that the call was disconnected. I had actually, I, there was one lady, there was one particular lady who was actually trying to help me. She was making the connection without a cold call. She was on the line and they, they hung up on her twice. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to look into all that, and this was all today? Yes, ma'am. Within the hour. Okay. Because what I see so far on, on the actual case is there was two calls that were notated, and both of them say that they were trans they transferred you to that recertification line. Okay, so out of the 12 times that I called, I mean, out of the 12 times that I was transferred, only two took notes. Yeah, so I don't even know how you got through that quickly, 12 times that you called that many times. One particular woman called for me three times, but prior to that, two people uh, transferred me back and forth, and on the third call, I'm sorry, can you give me a moment? Uh, one moment, please. Sorry, can you repeat that last part? Um, oh yes, it was it was regard you at you just said that you don't understand how it, it could be possible that I made 12 different transfers in that short period of time. Well, it wasn't, spe it wasn't exactly one, I've, I've been on the phone for approximately two hours. I'm just giving you an approximation on the, the time outside of waiting. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to investigate that. And I would like a callback. And, and I would also need uh, their identification numbers. One, uh, well, if you, uh, well, the last person I called, she gave me, she gave me her, her ID number. Yeah, that's not something that we normally do here. The only thing you give out is the ticket number for the call every time you call in and we don't take the call. So she just gave me a random ID number. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, that's not something that we give out to the public. That's just internal. I can tell you the number if you want to hear the number. Sure. Her name... Zara, Z-A-R-A, -A, and the number she gave me was 668255. Did you catch that? Yeah, what why would she give me a random number? So she just gives me random numbers and that's okay in your in your eyes. Oh, you don't give her employee I okay, that makes sense. Her employee ID. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so how can I get this process started? Okay. So once again, if you go on our website 
So you're recommending I go online, I go to the website, I locate um, the SSP form and then recertify with CalFresh? Yeah. yeah, you can do both the SSP 14 form, you can fill it out and upload it back up into your case once you're logged into your account. And the same thing with the yearly CalFresh recertification packet. You can go over that, fill it out, sign it, and upload it back up right into your case. That's actually the fastest way to go right to us. I have one more question. Why, why in the world would every, every person I spoke to, instead of telling me that information, would give me the runaround and keep me on the line as long as I can? Again, I would have to go back and look into who you spoke to, what they told you, why they didn't tell you the correct information, and I apologize for that. I wish they were more clear with you. Oh, they were, they were clear with a bunch of transfers and the hangups. Wow. Because uh, there's two parts. I want you to check everyone who did it today, and I would like for you to check uh, how many times my case was unnecessarily closed. Well, the case is not closed. The case is active. No, th this is uh, uh, previous closures. Okay, when you have previous termination for whatever reason, they, there's always a termination notice that goes out. So if you don't have a mailing address, you can either pick up your mail at the office to check all that, or, again, when you log into that account on your account, you can check your notice of actions as well. Notice of actions? Yes. Okay, so notice of actions, fill out the recertification all the, on the website. Yes. Do you know how to go on the website? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Although, although it's, I'm having very, uh, I'm having lots of difficulties trying to download any attachments that you guys have on there. For some reason, your Adobe software isn't. Uh, I do believe they told me something about the, the the browser that I'm using. Do you recommend a browser to receive mail online? Well, we don't we don't send out mail like to your email or online. We just mail it out, but everything is available once it goes out. Once you go into that website, it's there and available for you to, whether it's something you have to fill out or just a notice of action for you to review. So I'm not sure what the issue is when you log in. Um, sometimes it's better to do it on an actual computer as opposed to mobile. 